What is going on everybody and welcome back to the Gator Gamer channel. Again, we'll be continuing with the second installment of Flights with Gator Gamer. It is Microsoft Flight Simulator X Steam Edition. Um, yes, this game is a bit outdated, but I don't care. As I established in the last episode, I think. But anyway, so we will be flying in the Be for in the Beechcraft Baron 58 this time. And you can see this is not a Microsoft repaint. I got this repaint off of flight uh, site called FlyawaySimulations.com. Um, they are not, I'm not in any way sponsored by them. I have five subscribers as of, as of now. So why would I be sponsored by them? I'm not even sure they knew who I am. But so anyway, but yeah, it's a, it's basically a site where a lot of different people go and make some really cool like freeware repaints and uh, repaints and some freeware planes and all that good stuff. So. I do not remember the creator of the uh, this re the, the hot rod repaint right now is what it's called for the Beechcraft Baron 58 off the top of my head. However, their name and the link to the, this this repaint, if you want it for yourself, will be in the description and the mall and the repaint for the mall Orion as well as well as the creator's name was in the description of the last episode. So yeah, I really this is my favorite repaint for a plane. So I'm really I'm really happy I found this actually, but. So, as you can see, we will be fl flying out of Bartow Municipal, or you want to admit a flight plan, it is 233. So, we will actually be flying out of an airport with that has towers, so we'll have to request IFR, not we'll have to request permission to taxi and taxi around and all that good stuff. So, anyway, I worked out fuel and payload and flight plan and all that stuff, as I already established. But, I also did find a way to, um... Instead of since real world weather always just defaulted back to fair weather for some reason, I just went in user defined weather, went on a weather website, and punched it out. So I uh, punched in the all the stuff myself, and that solved the problem. So I'm happy now. Yay! So now we'll be flying in more realistic conditions and all that good stuff. T right now I'm pretty sure it's something like a hundred cloud ceiling of twelve thousand feet. Think scattered clouds and the winds uh, like a like a 11 knot wind to the um to the 100 degrees. So on that note, no more. Let's get no more chit chat. Let's get right back in here. See you in the plane. And okay, here we are. We are in the plane. Take a good look at it. We are cold and dark. I did manage to set that up in the settings. But here we are. Look at this repaint. It's just so beautiful. And you can see also, we're in a pretty large airport. So, yeah. So let's get inside and we'll open the doors and everything and then we'll get the show on the road. Okay. So here we are. First off, let's... Batteries on. Batteries. Um, avionics. I'll turn props. Ain't gone because why not? Let's get this... Oh, nope. Fuel pumps running. Um, okay, let's get our strobe lights, our beacon lights on, our taxi lights, and that, yeah, because we need to taxi, and our landing lights. Now let's get these engines started up, so, start, uh, let's see, did this start? Oh, crap, my throttle and mixtures weren't up, so put those up that would probably help um oh, what what am I doing um okay there it goes now you can hear it roaring into life glot shows the main the main pressure rpms fuel flow temperature oil temper pressure all that's in the green now let's get the left engine started and there it goes. Okay. Oh wait, let's set the parking brake for now. Um. Okay. So let's get a look at our. Oh nope. Okay. So let's let's set autopilot. Now we'll do that when we're at the runway. Um. Yes. No, I want you. Okay. So let's see. Don't know where our taxi way is yet. So let's radio in to say that we're ready to taxi. So let's tune the bar to ground. Okay, crest IFR clearance. 
Both ground, Beach Alpha 315, Tango Yankee Golf, I, I far to have one Foxtrot Delta 2, ready to copy, I messed up there, sorry guys. Okay, we are clear. So you can see we are going to be going to 5,500 feet. Okay, we're going to read back our IFR clutch real quick. Alpha 315, Tango Yankee Golf, cleared to 1, Foxtrot Delta 2, airport, as filed. Fly runway heading. Time and maintain 5,500, departure on 1, 1, niner, point niner, squawk 6453. And... Okay, we were not... Okay, okay, where are we going to taxi? Request taxi if I are IFR. So let's do that. Um, because we don't know which way we want to go. No, no, we're going to push. No, I think we need to request taxi if I IFR clearance before we, um, before we, um, decide where, before we start a pushback. So let's do that. Uh, Grand Beach Alpha 315, Tango Yankee Golf, ready to taxi. I for Okay. And then nine or left via taxiway. Okay, we're gonna okay, they're giving us run ray nine left, so that's gonna be heading looks like we're gonna be heading straight to the what is that, to the east. So so we're it's probably gonna be somewhere out there, I imagine. So let's um, acknowledge our clearance, and it's on the left one, so it's gonna be the one closest to us too. Okay, so, so as we, I, I don't know if you know this, but I don't, I, I never flown in this airport before. Oh, I acknowledge last transmission. Sorry, I forgot to do that. And then hold short runway nine left via taxiway Beach Tango Yankee Golf. And I am going to turn on progressive taxi. Uh, because I do not know my way around this airport, so and I don't know where I'm going, so we're gonna do that. And we're gonna tune Bartow ground after we are ready. After we are in, so we wanna t we're gonna push out to the right. So hold two. Something's been going on in my pushback, so I don't know how well it's gonna work. No, let's go. We'll go to Lair. Yeah, it wants us to go to the right as well. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, we're there. That's... I don't know how... Why is it zooming in? I do not know. Okay, so we'll do this just to see. Oh, it... No, they want us to, um... Taxi uh, push this way, so we're gonna hold... We're gonna hold one. So let's release the parking brake first and foremost. And hit shift P to start the pushback and hold one. Should work. I don't know. It hasn't been working, but you're supposed to hold one. So let's. Oh, shoot. I don't want to do that. Okay, yeah, see, now it's working good. I, just, I don't know why it wasn't working for some reason. Okay. Okay, so it's taking us there, and when we get all the way... Okay, come on. Turn, you... See, this is... It just, it just does this every single time. Oh, wait, no, we're supposed to go the other way. No matter, we can just turn this thing around. Okay, so now let's get back into the cockpit. Oh, look, actually, no, actually, now let's go back to here so we can see where runway 9 is. It doesn't actually show us there, so that's a bit of a shame. Go back to our lock spot view. And that, and then, okay. I think, let's turn, park, oh no. Okay, so get ready to taxi. I'm just going to warn you in advance, I am horrible at taxiing. I am absolutely awful at it. So, I'm warning you now, so we need to go this way, so let's uh, um, open the throttles a little bit, okay, and where is our, oh shoot, oh shoot, I'm already failing, 
I'm already failing. We're not even on the taxiway already. This is just, just all, all come. Okay. Okay. Let's, here we go. Okay. Nope. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, come on. Sometimes it just does like you need to set and unset the parking brake. I don't know if that's a glitch or what's going on with that. Okay, we're going a bit too fast, so let's hit the brakes a bit. Okay, this is actually probably the best taxiing I have ever done. Oh, see, there we go. We're starting to lose it again. Oh, come on. I hate when it does that. It's just so annoying. Oh, come on. See, this, I don't know why it is doing this. I don't know why. It, it, I don't know if it's me or if it's a glitch. I don't know. But I'm, I'm doing the exact same thing and just decides to wonk out for some reason. Okay, there's that. Okay, we need to hit the brakes. Going way too fast for taxiing. Oh, jeez. See? I don't I don't know why it always tries to turn to the left. I'm um, to the right. Okay. 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 I also don't know why it feels the urge to need to go so fast. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's turn back onto the actual taxiway. Jeez. This is just embarrassing. Okay. Okay. Hit the brakes for a second here. Okay, come on. This is just all over the place. Okay, now we're starting to get a bit better. Okay, there it is. Now we actually... We really need... We are going way, way too fast doesn't want to maintain a speed it always wants to speed up okay we're gonna have a left turn up here by the looks of it okay let's get a move on here we don't need to be going that that slowly keep having to set the parking brake because this thing wants to just shut off for some reason and now it wants to like go to take off velocity for some reason I've got like the throttle on like 20% Okay, let's go. I would put it lower to maintain like a lesser, uh, like a shorter speed, but if I put it lower, it just wants to shut off. Doesn't want to go anywhere. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I think we're. This is here. Yeah, I think this is our runway. So let's. Nope. Okay, so let's, I think this is our runway, I think, right here. Just gonna confirm this really quick. Yeah, as this takes 10 years. Yeah, that's nine left. Let's get back on our lock spot view. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. And let's, um, let's work out our autopilot. Um, okay, shift two, I think it is right. Um, yeah, okay, so there's our autopilot. We're gonna put our altitude hold switch on in a bit. Okay, so, so we're gonna be going up, as you saw, when we got clearance to 5,500 feet. Our heading is going, to, let's set this heading. Uh, we'll not, we'll not, we won't turn this on until we get to the runway, but let's set it in advance. Nope, wrong way. We're gonna be going straight east. So we will, we'll turn our heading altitude on, on our heading, heading hold on in a second. Okay, so we're almost, uh, uh, we're almost in taxiing. Okay, so let's um, radio into tower. Nope, I didn't want that. Uh, tune the tower. We don't need the taxi anymore, so we'll turn that off. And then we'll um, tune the tower. To request to IFR takeoff clearance, IF instrument flight reference from Bart from Barto Tower. So let's do that. 
Barco Tower, Beach Alpha 315, Tango Yankee Golf at runway 9 or left. Ready for takeoff, IFR to 1, Foxtrot Delta 2. Okay, we are cleared for takeoff. Okay, we'll acknowledge takeoff clearance. Clear for takeoff, runway 9 or left, Beach Alpha 315, Tango Yankee Golf. Okay, now that's over with. Uh, let's go back up to here and we will taxi. Nope, apparently I have to do this again. All this this loaded garbage because it doesn't want to speed up for some reason. Okay, let's. Okay. Okay, let's move this along here. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's turn a bit better, shall we? Okay, now we're holding here. Now we'll put our parking brake really quickly. And then you rotate at 95 knots in this in this aircraft. So we'll turn our taxiing lights off. And we'll put our, hold our heading. Hold our heading, so turn autopilot on. Turn our heading hold in, on, and we'll turn our... Um, Altitude on holds our altitude hold switch when we get into the air. Okay, I think we are ready for takeoff. So let's release the parking brake. Actually, no, let's turn the parking brake on. And then we have, why does it say we're going 11 knots? Oh, that's odd. Okay, what's this? Um, flight director switch. Okay, um, okay, so let's. Our, is our parking brake on? Okay, let's get this out of the way for just a second so we can see our RPMs. Okay. I think that's a glitch. I don't know why it says our fuel is empty. Unlimited fuel is off, and I did set fuel. Okay, so shift two. Okay. Okay, we're at 80 knots. 90 knots. Okay, 100 knots is good enough. Okay, pull up. Okay, why? Pull up. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it refused to pull up. Okay, there we go. That was a stupid takeoff. Okay, pull up. Okay, why are you doing this? Pull up. Okay, altitude hold was not on, so I do not know what that was about. That works every other time. Okay, so now we'll turn our fuel pumps off. Okay, so... Okay, they want us on Tampa departure, but let's get our GPS up first. Okay, acknowledge our handoff. We'll acknowledge our handoff in a second. Let's get this down to zoom in, and let's get on our course here. Why is that still on? No. No. There we go. Oh, okay. Did you copy? Yes. One one nine or point nine or point Beach Tango Yankee Golf. Let's turn on our course before we deal with autopilot. We'll get this out of here for a second. Oh, uh, whatever. I guess it's not going to let us deal with autopilot in a second. No, no, stop. I get that we're inside airspace. Okay, we need to turn. I'll tune Tampa departure. Oh, geez. This is so hard doing all these things at once. Okay, Tampa departure, Beach Alpha 315, Tango Yankee Golf, climbing through 1,500 for 5,500. Okay, I don't know. I think that was a glitch. I don't really know. Oh, shoot. I cannot see my thing because this is in the way. I can't see. Okay, autopilot, turn this on. Okay. Okay. Um, altitude hold, we'll get that. Do it. Do it. No, I don't want that. Okay, turn left heading 340, resume of navigation. Oh, jeez. Yankee Golf. 3... Four zero is that about it? The stupid nav balls in the way. Oh my gosh. 
Oh jeez, that was not a legit takeoff. And I do not know why. I do not think that would cause issues. It never does in any of my other flights. That was just stupid. The autopilot, like, re absolutely refused on our flaps good yet. Our autopilot refused to let us take off. What are we heading? We're actually 350. So we need to go to about another. I don't know why that's like that. Oh, wait, no. Wait, what? How does it say we're... Oh, wait, is our heading on? Our heading hold switch isn't on. Uh, oh, jeez. That was not a legit takeoff. And from now on my videos, I will not be using altitude. But that just helped me stay on course in all my other flights. I don't know why it suddenly would not let us do that. Because uh, it worked before. Okay, it says we got an hour... ETA of an hour. Okay. Set, okay, this is... Okay, it, okay, let's just do this. Okay, there we go. We, we may finally be on it. We have to resume our own navigation. How are we looking on altitude? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what happened there. That never affects anything when I do it. Then I know I've said that like four times now. I need to shut up about that. But oh my. My grandpa was a pilot. I know he'll be all over me, all over me for that. Um, or he he has a pilot's license, but he sold his airplane like a couple years ago. Um, okay, three four zero. I think we're good on that. How's our altitude? Okay. Whew. What a start to the episode, as you can see here, we got an hour and ten minutes ETA. That'll probably be somewhere around like an hour after our airspeed gets to about 188 knots. And if it's everything good, we'll turn off our landing lights when we hit 5,500 or when we're steady. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're holding. Yeah, this thing's... Oh, I guess it wants to do it another one. Um, is everything good? Our throttles, our mixture and the propeller, all that stuff is good. Jeez. Oh wait, I forgot. Landing gear needs to come up. There we go. Get that done. See our GPS. Are we heading? Where are we heading? Yep, 340. I don't know why that says 342. I guess it has the heading is incorrect glitch again. Still climbing? Nice. Um, okay, all that's good. Are we cruising or what's happening? Still got about 500 feet. Jeez! Oh, that was awful. I don't know what the heck happened. Sorry, I'm up. Oh, yeah, this thing is way off. Yeah, it's still going, but it says we're holding steady with zero degrees tilt, but it says we're still continuing right. That's super weird. I do have us going a bit off our course here. I know it, it is off, the compass is off, but what it is, like the course, the relative to the course is still the same. So it's still five um, degrees off, it's still five degrees um, right. It's, but, um, but it's still the same relative inclination, really, or it's relative angles, or whatever it's called, I don't know. But, are, do, is, are we at 5,500 yet? So our landing lights can come on now. Landing lights off. I know I messed that up in the first episode, and I apologize. So, but nav lights are coming on, landing lights are coming off. So, yeah, let's get this. So what are we at? We're at about 167 knots. That should go up. See, oh yeah, see, it's already down to 50 minutes. So that's nice. So, oh my gosh, that was that was the worst takeoff I have done yet. And I have some, and I didn't. I don't have. I don't have that many horrible takeoffs. But that was just awful. And a shame it was. It had to happen while I was recording. Oh, but we need to adjust it because it said to go to 340 and resume our own navigation. 
So if there's like that means like if there's a waypoint or something, we'll do that. If there's a waypoint coming up um, that we need to turn for, we can do that unless they tell us unless they tell us otherwise. That's what resume and navigation means. So that you need to head three forty, and I, if anything else comes up, you need to re you need you can resume turn however much you please. But yeah, ATC usually tells you that, and then if you um, and if you and then they'll get you on they get they'll get you to do what they want later in the flight. But um, for that rant, I think that's really all we can do right now. Well, this one you don't need to adjust your speed at all, and you should not. I also figured uh, figured out actually from my grandpa actually told me that. I did that one of the things you're not supposed to do is control your airspeed with flap, so I will not be doing that. I will not be doing that again, so now I'll use it with my throttle. Um So yeah, radios are good. I'll probably have a few panoramic shots or after I'm done talking here, but besides that, there's not anything going on. I'll come back, but besides that, we're good. So, see you later. shot there that was literally like 10 seconds so but let's go into our lock no if i don't want that we'll go into our lock spot view to see if we can spot the traffic they said nine o'clock just make sure i do not see anything traffic is nine o'clock four miles at nine thousand five hundred so they're four thousand feet above us and they're also a beach baron so, 9 o'clock, really high. I do not see any, I do not see any traffic. Oh wait, no, what, what am I doing? 9 o'clock's over there, yeah, there's the traffic. I have the traffic in sight. I don't know why I was looking at four, uh, 3 o'clock, that's just my errors. But let's just go, um, we have, have, well, have the traffic. That's another thing. I don't know why it says have the traffic. I'm, still, I'm sure there's a reason to that, but I have the traffic, or I have the traffic in sight, and I just have the traffic in the view. But anyways, yeah, as you can see, it is no longer just fair weather. I went in there and I made the weather the weather at Barto Municipal, like, currently. So there's like, I think it was, um, there was a layer of scattered clouds at 3,000 feet to like 3,500 feet, so, and then there was the cloud ceiling was at 12,000 to 12,500 feet with a, with a crosswind going 100 degrees, a crosswind of 100 degrees going at 11 knots, so there's a pretty substantial crosswind here. So yeah, as you can see, we did put the landing gear up, we got, everything's running normally, Nominally, not nominally, nominally. So let's um, watch well, it. So buy again. Oh my gosh! They really like they really like you being here because now they're telling us to turn left heading three three zero zero zero. That was literally about. Five seconds after I just signed off, so there you go, three zero zero. Every time I sign off or attempt to sign off, they tell me to do something else. But that's good. You get to see more flying time. And I'm sure you're happy about that. If if you don't, why are you here? If you don't like the actual parts where I'm when I'm talking and have a commentary and and um and are actually doing something. So if you don't like it, then why are you here? But if you do have any suggestions on anything you want me to do, put it down in the comments and I'll see if I can make it happen. Oh wait, oh, oh, I'm making all kinds of errors. Again, I went to 
Literally, literally, I went to 30 degrees instead of 300. I am being an idiot this flight. I'm being an absolute idiot this flight. I do not know why. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, so, oh, I, I guess I didn't acknowledge them either. We're just doing all sorts, I'm just doing, not you guys, I'm doing all sorts of stuff that's wrong. Turn left heading 300, Beach Tango, Yankee Golf. Well, we eventually turned 300, but my gosh. First, I didn't acknowledge that they wanted me to turn 300, and then I turned right to heading 30 degrees instead of 300. So, so there you have it. Gator Gamer is just being an idiot today. Um. So is that? Are we heading? Yeah. Okay. It says we're on course, so that's good. Okay. Let's try this for the third time. Can I get some panoramic shots of the airplane, like flyby view or something? Or is it gonna? ATC is gonna have another thing for us. Let's see. So for the third try, for the third time, see ya. Okay, here we go. We, they want us to turn right heading 330, and let's acknowledge it this time. Turn right heading 330, then proceed on course, Beach Tango Yankee Golf. And now let's turn the correct way this time. So let's not screw the turn up again. Um, so that, that should be right. And then proceed on course. So I think this, but that's also the, basically the same thing as I'm telling us to resume our navigation. Okay, so we're at 320, despite what this says, the compasses say differently. Um, uh, 325, yeah, I think we're going to be, I need to, need to bump it a bit over. We'll see, we're at 326 degrees. Yeah, they do have us basically proceeding on course. Um, now, so we're, we're following the the magenta, the pink, purple line, whatever you want to call it. More so than usual. Okay, 327, so one, two, three. There we go. And that's really it. So there it is. See you soon. Actually, yeah, so what I want to see here, like, there's all you can see actually the use the difference in the more realistic look of the weather, not just being cloudless and all beautiful for um, now. Then um, when I did the in the first episode, then the user the weather that I in the it's really the real world weather feature, but user pre defined weather. I just typed in with the real world real world well, come on Gary Gamer real world weather actually is. So I typed that straight in and it you can see it makes a heck of a difference here oh perfect time to make that comment because you can see you can see they want us going to Jacksonville approach now don't know why they want us going to Jacksonville approach now we're not anywhere near I don't know why they don't want us going to Orlando but it's not my decision so let's just acknowledge as a handoff 18.6 for Beach Tango Yankee go and we'll contact Jacksonville Approach um, on 118.6. So let's do that. Jacksonville Approach, Beach Alpha 315, Tango Yankee Golf, with you. Oh, as so you can see here on the map, we got a decently sized airport coming up. Don't know what it's called, and I don't want to go into my map to check right now. So there's no reason to, it just stops the flight and we got a 37 minute flight ahead of ahead of me, not ahead of you guys. You guys are lucky. No, I do enjoy doing this. As I don't know why I still have that open though. I do like doing this, even though eighty percent of it is just the boring stuff, but ten percent of it is fun stuff from uh takeoff and all that good stuff taxiing around 
and then there's 10% of the fun stuff in landing and shutdown. But 80% of it is just this boring cruising. But I do enjoy looking at the scenery here as we come up on this airport. Well, let's see. Maybe we can see it. Oh, yeah, it's right, right in front of us there. So I, I, I do have the um, HD airport graphics mod installed. And before I, um, before that, this, it was, um, it's a real, it's a really, de it's really beautiful. This, the mod, the airports look like actual, like, really crappy before that. And the, the, since I got the mod and installed it properly and put the settings so it was active, it just makes the airport so pretty. And it did not have a big, uh, drop on frame rates as much as I thought it would. So that's something, that's something cool. Let's say one way, the runway one and runway. I think that's night nineteen. I think that's what it says. I don't know. I think it is because that would be three, if it was like if it was zero, like runway no, it would be runway three six, and that would be runway eighteen. So I think that is runway nineteen. So that's a bit kind of a cool thing. Just passing over it. And with that again, we're gonna sign off until the next update. While while we're just sitting here cruising, with nothing to do. I might as well show you guys the um the back of the um nope mixture stays full. The back of the um back of the aircraft here. So if we mosey on, nope this way. If we there we go, mosey on in here to the mosey on in here to the to the cr little crew cabin we've got going on. As you can see here. Got the enough for one pilot, one co-pilot. We got a little fold-out table there. I don't, I don't think those are. You can no. Yeah, that's just seat decorative. And we got the um the little. There's another door for the passengers to get in. Look there. And we, yeah, we got enough for four passengers back there and. I don't know if the cargo is actually in there. I've never actually looked back here. Nope. Just the carpet back there. So there you have it. Nice little, nice airplane. Okay, we're gonna make a little adjustment here. Cause I said proceed on course. We're gonna make a little, that means basically them telling us we can be make little course adjustments if we want to. We're gonna uh, get back on the line here. which is, So it's really gonna be about 332 degrees, even though that says 336 or 7, just to get back on course a bit. At seven, when we're 70, 70 miles out, too, I will lower the throttles a bit, just so because it's hard, a bit hard to land these big beach crafts on grass strips. They have to be coming in really slow. So, that was it. Actually, while we're here, let's do a bit of a check, make sure everything's happy. I think that's a glitch. That's, yeah, there's no way. Because infinite fuel is not on, so that I hasn't been on. I turned that off immediately. And I did put fuel in the tank, so I get, I, that's just a glitch, I think. I don't know what's happening there. So, just, just make sure everything, main pressure, no, that's man. A manifold pressure, not I can't. Did I say main pressure before? I think I did. I'm an I'm an idiot. I cannot do anything today. First, the fiasco with the um takeoff, then the not acknowledging the ATC's turn command, then just turning the absolute wrong way. And now I'm saying main pressure instead of manifold pressure. That's just ah. <laughs> but okay, so manifold pressures. Both for both engines are in the green. RPMs are good. Fuel fuel flow for both engines are in the green. Temperature in the green. Green oil temperature. No, oil temp pressure is in the green. Not oil temperature pressure. No, oil temp pressure. There we go. So that's all pilot heat and. I think that's what is a, a de-icing, and then I don't know that boot icing switch. But we're in Florida in the middle of the summer, so you, 
You know what? Actually, here in Florida, actually, it's about it's getting really hot. I think it was 90 degrees today. I think it peaked at 90 degrees or something today. So, no need for icing when it's summer in Florida. <laughs>